16 years ago, our family decided to take in this crazy, spunky pound pup, an American Eskimo mix. Although I was reluctant at first, I quickly fell in love with this little guy. We named him Buddy. Over the years, he would be given many nicknames like Sparky, Sparky Cola, or Buster Brown. Hey, we got good old Sparky with us today, too. Hey, Buddy. Buster. And when our youngest granddaughter couldn't pronounce Buddy or Buster, it sounded more like Butter. He was then given the nickname Mr. Butters. His early years were quite the challenge as he had very little training and showed little affection. But as time went on, he learned to love, trust, and obey. Buddy was a very vocal dog. I would often come home to hear him howling for no apparent reason. I guess he just had separation anxiety. He was included in most of our vacations, but on one of those vacations, we decided the 2,000 mile ride to the state of Maine would be just too much for him. So we left him with the local boarding kennel. Upon return, we were told he barked all day every day, non-stop, and was no longer welcome there. We've had many laughs over this behavior. Poor boy just wanted his family. Buddy was usually pretty good at staying by our side. But without a leash and left to roam, she would oftentimes find trouble. What did you do? Come here. Hey, come. Sit. Look at you. You a big mess. You got pickers all over you, Buster. What'd you do? I'm gonna get that stick. I'm gonna get that stick. You go, boy. You go, boy. What do you think, Buster? Is that a good spot? Buddy was always up for a good adventure, and like his human parents, was always most content out in nature, unless, of course, it was too cold. As an American Eskimo, you'd think he was built for the cold, but that wasn't always the case. Got a nice fire going over there, a nice bed for Buddy inside the ice fishing shack, but you think he'll go in there? Nope. He's got to stay in the car like a big baby. Because he's cold. Yep, it's terrible. Unreal. He also loved to come along hiking. One of our trips on the Superior Hiking Trail, he tried taking ownership of that trail by marking his turf, seemingly every 10 feet. He peed and peed until there was nothing left in the tank, but that didn't stop him from going through the motions. He earned the trail name, the Phantom Pisser on that trip. You done good, Sparky. Done good, kid. As Buddy grew old, his health began to deteriorate, to the point he was no longer able to do the things he enjoyed. He began to lose his hearing and started developing cataracts in his eyes. His walks became shorter and shorter as he no longer had the energy. In his final days, he wasn't able to keep his food down. We struggled with the idea that his days were numbered and hoped he would make a turn for the better. When he stopped eating altogether, we knew we had to make a very difficult decision. As painful as it was to have him put down, we knew we couldn't be selfish to the point where he would suffer. His whole life, all he wanted to do was please his family, and that was true to the very end. But he wasn't our whole life, but he most certainly made our lives whole. I miss him every day, and every day there are subtle reminders. One day he will once again greet me with his big smile and wagging tail, as he did every time I walk through the door. Until that day, I will cherish all the memories. <laughs>